I thought by now all these bad bulls, uh, Corobidi and her ex issue, I thought by now it should be passed and everybody will proud. But these are two learned people, two educated people. I thought by now everything could have been like everything been normalized. But every day you keep getting some kind of information news, I would like call it, that is so, I don't know how I would say it. It's so uncalled for, you know? It's so uncalled for. And most times, you ask yourself, why? These are two adults. They have separated. They are divorced. They have kids together. And for the health, both mental health and the health, in fact, for the well-being of those children, some of the, some of the things that we are saying, we are not supposed to be saying it. So there is this video I saw, very irritating one, that the nanny showed how everything was in the house. Being a nanny, I'm not saying that, oh, maybe she came and met it or this one, that one, that one. But being a nanny, you are living in that house too. That, was, that means maybe um, the person, if you did not come to meet that place like that, that means you are not doing your job that you're paid for. And if you came to meet that job like that, that house is not conducive for a child to stay. That is your dirtiness. You understand? Let's always call it spirit, spirit. That is your dirtiness, and that place is not conducive enough for anybody to stay because your environment affects your life. Take it or leave it. Now, to crown it all, why it's so painful is this person, his followers will always look for what the other person do wrong and be calling some kind of CPS for the person. Okay. Forget that anybody can make mistake. Now, this one is in the open. You can't tell me that it's not his house because we saw what is there. I am not judging anybody because every household has their own problem. But what I am saying now, Justin, is high time. Some things you take for granted. It's not what you should take for granted. Yes, I know if I say it, you say, oh, that why will you learn from your ex-wife? Yes, learn one thing from her. No matter what, there is this boundary she creates. You know, there is this boundary. Since your SF have been doing video, we have never seen maybe her, her, her part, like somebody that they have anything to. I don't know if she has, but I have never seen anybody introduce, oh, in my house, um, Juni and Athena is around. That this one, this is my boyfriend, this is my girlfriend. This one. She kept that one as private stuff. She regulated the kind of people that she welcomed to her house. You understand? So you learn that. Don't trust people too much. To all, Even your own friends failed you. Because the other woman, I'm forgetting her name. I forgot her name that came before. We saw what she, that one, how this evil was. Because she took advantage of the children and post online. You understand? She took advantage of the children by post as in snapping them inappropriately. She showed your house. She showed everything. How everything was so dirty. How everything was just uh, spoiled and why the children at I get sick when they get to their mother. She showed everything. That woman was your friend. Then this one now, Nanny, you're crying because you, you are trying to, to brown skin girl. No, it's not because you're trying to brown skin girl. It's because you feel that the brown skin girls are the ones that you can use the way you want. And you forget that there is a way that you can torment somebody that the person will say, damn everything. You yourself, you need to change. You need to change. You know why you need to change? Because... 50 people, in fact, all the people that you have come in contact to online, all of them have one thing or the other to do to you. You are calling this nan, this nanny na a thief, that she stole your money, she went to your go for me and said the kind of money that people say she saw the gift, she saw everything, and did this, and that the kids miss her, meaning that she was there for the kid, and that you need nanny because of the kind of work you do. There are agencies that supply nannies you see why i have always told you to have a peaceful divorce will you peacefully divorce even when 
it's not your it's not your uh, as when is your turn to take care of the children and you have something to do you will say oh cora say i have where to go that both of you are divorced it does not mean that both of you are enemies divorcing for the mm. sake of the children should be friends so that the children will be well taken care of the other day you said oh that my daddy have a picture of you mommy in his room you have decided to you you have decided not to ever move on i remember when i watched a video that they said the nanny said that cora should change her password i don't know what cora is waiting for you are still there looking for how like like following her like body order and it will be very difficult for you to even and if at times um uh, you i don't know but not that you truly really love black skin you don't really love brown skin just that you have you feel that ah there are agencies that supply nannies those agencies will supply you both your skin since the brown skin that have been coming that is under, look for your own skin employ them learn how to how to create distance how to create safety distance the same way you create while you're driving create it between your children your friends and your and your household it's not everybody that you welcome don't don't foolishly trust people let me use that word i don't know don't foolishly trust people this is me talking to you like sister and brother don't foolishly trust people even even in your nyama nyama that you're doing in your house eh don't allow everybody to see it but if for the sake of your kids you say all you do is love your kids do your great dad something and you also say that you're not always at home that blah blah blah, blah. fine and good regulate yourself you have spent how many million dollar you are now raising that the money you are spending going to court from one court, suing your wife, suing yourself, suing this one, su, 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 because you don't want peace or because you want to achieve something, you want to drive to something, that the money could have been enough for you to actually do a better thing, train your children, and even have some kind of change. You welcomed her. She was losing, she was living rent free, according to you. Then uh, she was helping the children actually miss her. If actually she's a bad person, the children would not miss her. You get so, Mr. Cora will be <laughs> I don't know why it's so funny to call you that name. Mr. Cora will be the, I beg you, sit down, advise yourself, forgive yourself if you have you did anything wrong. Forgive as it remove your eye from your first wife part. Let Cora to be. Move on. Move on and concentrate on your life and just live. You understand? Look for a proper nanny. Make peace with your ex. Look for both of you should live peacefully. Look for a nanny. Go to agencies. Registered agencies. You have money. You said you have money. You said you have money so look for what pay not pay just lawyers pay for for quality nannies that can take care of these children that can give them that can also give them what their mother i don't even know how to put it at least pay for it since you have the money instead of always like all the nannies that have stayed with you even the ones that stay with you when cora was there say even narrated that when um she was living with you at times, um, what this particular nanny is talking about, my treatment of her chasing, uh, doing the nanny actually says some things, and if you translate it very well, my treatment of your ex wife was there by chasing her out of the house. I said, Her to go when you are ready, she comes back, and all those kind of a thing. This nanny is talking about now that you, 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 you don't, you don't treat people right, you don't treat people right. How many nannies have come to your house, complained the same thing? Um, summer be winter that one came she ran <laughs> oh, God. my darling please sit down and advise yourself it's getting too much it's getting too much it's getting too bad okay